What's up gamers, it's the Skylock Scrubs. Today we are going to be talking about what settings to have, GUI scale, all that good stuff. Uh, keep in mind this is vanilla, this is, requires no downloads or add-ons, this is just basic Minecraft. Uh, we make tutorials to er for early to mid game players weekly, so uh, yeah, let's get into it. Quick note boys, before we start the video, we will be streaming on Friday, August 21st at 2pm Eastern Time. So be sure to tune in for that. If you guys didn't catch the first stream, there's a little sneak peek to what we did. And uh, the next stream will be continuing on that. So be sure to... When did you get an epic pig? Alright boys, so the first tip here uh, is that you can actually have Optifine without having to install it. So... Pro hacks. Yeah, it is pro hack. So if you guys are like me and you have a computer from the 1970s that you stole from your grandma's porch, then it's not going to be able to handle all these crazy downloads. I already have downloaded a bunch of things for YouTube, and this computer is like completely a scrub sack computer, and it is just flat out wasted. Uh, I can't do crap on this computer now. So yeah, it's all for you guys though, but. Anyways, uh, if you guys have a crap sack computer like me, you're not going to want to download all these things. So, here, uh, the FOV, if you turn it down to, like, out here, then it'll, like, be zoomed out. However, if you bring it in, look at that. That right there is Optifine. You don't need to download it, and you can easily do Optifine right there. And it's really easy to turn back uh, to whatever you had it on, which I forgot, so that's awkward. So yeah, FOV, you can turn the slider and have Optifine. The next thing is difficulty. So you can change the difficulty of Skyblock. So as you can see, right now I have it on easy. Um, and you basically, if you have it on easy, you get two times more coins for everything that you sell. So it's really good money making method right there. Um, Solid. Yeah. So next up, boys, is skin customization. This is where you have all this random crap. And if you have a skin like mine, let me take off my uh, helmet. Uh, mine is Corona Steve because you guys have to wear your mask. You don't want to get COVID. Yeah. So if you have a skin like mine. Uh, you can actually take the mask off. Again, only do this if you're at least six feet apart. Um, but if you do that, it'll take a little bit, but it should take it off. Um, okay. But if you do take your mask off, oh, there we go. Boom, now you see I'm not wearing a mask. Uh, but if Gundermutt does want to come over and talk to me and spit on me with his gross nasty slobber I can always put my mask back on it just might take a while because apparently people in Minecraft take seven years to put on a freaking mask that makes sense there we go now you have corona gee dang it Julio Alright boys, so currently what you're looking at, you're looking at Count Jack's screen, so his settings are slightly different than mine, but I'm just going to kind of explain what you want. So my, most of my settings are set to fast, his are set to fancy. So fast, unless you have a sweaty butt cheek computer that can run like 3 million terabytes a second, I would set some of your graphics to fast and smooth lighting to or just off in general. Uh, it just depends if you're looking for higher frame rates or just, I guess, everything looking a bit nicer, although I don't really see a difference. So I have, like, graphics on fast. I have my smooth lighting off because most of the time in Skyblock, it's bright, especially once you get the uh, night vision talisman. Uh, GUI scale normal, brightness bright. Dynamic lights fast. I mean, most of this stuff is pretty self-explanatory, but... Yeah, I would just set most of your settings to fast, unless you want everything to be all fancy looking, in which case you set them to fancy, if you're some sort of snooty rich kid, so yeah, that's and about it. One thing to note is, uh, some of this stuff is based on your computer, so it will change from person to person, but always have brightness on bright, 
it's just stupid not to. Um, but like, for example, some things like frame rate, render distance, these will depend based on your computer. Uh, and then the other thing is, um, clouds always have those off. Not only do they lag out the Minecraft, but they're just super freaking annoying because it's skyblock and there's always these freaking white clouds across your dang island and they freaking make me mad dude don't have clouds on all right guys so uh now we're on the language setting so what you're gonna want to do for this is uh if it's your computer you're gonna want whatever language you uh speak so in my case english or you could do pirate speak if you're feeling a little uh, piratey uh, that day. But if it's your friend's computer, uh, this is what language you should pick. You should pick one of these ones uh, that doesn't have words. So for example, like this one, Filipino, for example, has words still. So uh, they might be able to kind of like, like see, oh, okay, well that's kind of close to like what it is in English and they might be able to figure out how to turn it off whereas if you have something like this I think that's like Hebrew or Arabian or something where it's like just symbols then there's no way they could possibly depict what that is unless they speak that language so make sure you pick a language that no one speaks it's so like this one I don't even know what that is like it's probably like Solomon Island or something like that some random uh, place but yeah like this one too this one's pretty good but yeah just don't pick one that's like words pick one that's symbols and then also make sure that they can't speak that uh, so yeah it's uh, very good um, very important to troll that uh, with your friend next up is resource packs Cooper you can take us away all right I seem to have changed my language to pirate speak This is not good. Okay, there we go. Resource pack. So, Jack doesn't have any because his computer was made before you were born. Even if you're 100 years old, it was obviously made before you were born. So, he can't download resource packs because whenever he does, they disappear. But I'm using First Sky. Uh, I'm on Optifine, but I'm using First Sky because it just... On normal Skyblock, every single sword looks like a diamond sword unless it's the adaptive blade which is really obnoxious so I got this so that I can tell my swords apart and if, if I'm sweating really hard in a fight I don't have to like go through every sword just to figure out which one I need I can just be like that one looks like that one boom it's the right one so yeah it's pro and, skills and also guys keep in mind uh, this is not required at all the rest of these are required uh, to do what we said but this one Again, you don't need to download anything, so if you have a crappy computer like me, you don't need to download any resource packs, because uh, the problem is solved if you just put your sword in, a, in the same slot of your inventory every time, so you just automatically know which sword goes where, and which sword you're using. Plus, a pretty handy feature here is when you uh, switch to your sword in your hand, boom, it says the name right there under the defense if you guys can see that it says sharp aspect of the dragons so it tells you what it is even if you're bad enough to not memorize it That's and me. the other thing is um with the reef with the resource packs uh they can like download a virus so just make sure you know what pack you're getting first guy is um an okay pack to get so don't be worried about that so next up we have super secret settings i got a bad feeling whenever i click this. on it it uh, changes my screen to be completely blurry. So after you've trolled your friends and uh, um, made their language some random simple language, then you click super secret settings and change their screen to like super high contrast or whatever you want. And as you can see, it is classic. So definitely mess with that. It's pretty funny. Uh, broadcast settings pretty straightforward. If you're doing a Twitch, ugh, Twitch, ugh, <laughs> then you would do that. But YouTube's better. Don't do Twitch. All right. So controls. This is very important. 
uh, leave literally everything alone, unless you have Optifine, then change your zoom key to Z, because why is it X? Or any other key, it's Z. And then this is the most important thing. So your sensitivity has to be hyperspeed to be super sweaty, because if you're getting attacked from behind, you can whirl around in less than a tenth of a second. And you need to change your drop key to F12, so that you'll never ever double click and drop um, one of your super sweaty 50 mil Midas items. So yeah, drop key F12, Optifine zoom key Z, because why not? And then the most important, hyper speed, so you can just whirl around and attack anything that dares look at you. Okay, and another uh, cool thing about this is you can always hit nice little inverse mouse button right there and uh, easily troll your friends just by hitting that or changing all their keybinds to random things. And then they can't rebind them because everything is in a different language that they can't read. And, all and no one memorizes the Minecraft settings buttons, so yeah. if, if you uh, invert their mouse, they're not going to know which button to click. They're going to end up having to figure out how... They're going to have to buy a keyboard for that specific language, and then type in that language into Google Translate to figure out what it means. Yeah, individually. <laughs> and then the other thing about this is... I don't know if you guys knew this, but you can actually get some glitched items by turning on touchscreen mode. Uh, a good example of this are uh, barrier blocks. Um, you can like touch screen them. Like there's there's tutorials. You guys can figure it out. It is bannable if you exploit it, but just a cool little tidbit to know. And always make sure that your hotbar slots change uh, hotbar slot six to seven and change slot seven to six. It's just handy. So next up we have the chat settings. So this is where you can turn the chat on and off. So if you're a pro gamer streamer, or if you're going for a cinematic view, turn this off. So you can do commands only, hidden or shown. Um, I, I do shown personally. But keep in mind, right? There was this one guy, this poor guy in the hub in Skyblock, and he said, everyone be quiet, I'm trying to film a like cinematic uh, like movie. And so obviously everyone laughed at him and bullied him and talked even more because he asked that and like what type of loser would ask that? So if you don't want to be that loser, first of all like the video and subscribe to our channel that automatically makes you 249% cooler, but also just turn the chat off. Also web links you can turn that off, you know, pretty standard stuff. I don't really mess with any of this stuff, but you can also turn colors off and on, turn the opacity down, back up, scale, down, back up. So you can like, a lot of this stuff you wouldn't want to mess with on yours, but again, on your friend's different language computer, you can mess with those. They're pretty funny. And then the last thing is if you're like a coder, or I don't even know what this is, snooper settings. Like, I don't know, dude. Like, I think this is how Piggy Cole dupes everything because he changes the name from snooper settings to duper settings so yeah I, I don't know about snooper settings but you could ask Pigacle probably yeah these settings as you can see if you scroll down in the settings very simple stuff uh, basic coding maneuvers and they just speak in code so if you're a robot then this is the best way to dupe items oh and a quick tip about the chat settings so if you do want to get a scenic view, just hit F1, and then everything will disappear on the screen. Okay, guys. So that's going to be the video. Um, real quick before the outro, uh, I just wanted to say one more secret setting that you can do. If you go to Achievements, and if you hit Alt F4, then you get every achievement automatically. Um, so then you can flex on scrubs. So yeah, into the outro. Alright boys, so we have a stream going on on the 21st of August, 2 p.m. Eastern Time. Now, please like and subscribe. I'm going to go give all the cheat. Alright, another classic blunder from the Gunder. Right there. Easy clap, boys. Got him with the Alt F4 trick. Don't actually do Alt F4 if, if, uh, unless you want to be like the blunder Gunder. But anyways, what he was going to say is he was going to get all the achievements, which he's not going to get. He's just going to 
uh, learn the truth. But anyways, like and subscribe if you enjoyed. And uh, stay tuned for the stream in two days. And then obviously we'll continue to post weekly. So stay tuned for that. Bye.